hello friends welcome to programming knowledge so in this video we will see how you can use flat list to display the multiple elements that you have created in your list so in our last video we saw that how you can use the map function uh, and scroll view uh, in order to display the elements that you have created in your list this from our last video you can view the output in iOS simulator or Android simulator. I have opened the iOS simulator here. So there is a second method. It's called flat list. So let me just show you how you can use the flat list, and then I'm going to tell the difference between both of them. First, we need to import flat list and let me just comment this out save okay so flat list it's a self-closing component you don't need an ending component so first of all what data we need to display what data we need to display and that is the fruit list the second is a render item we need to write an arrow function for that okay so here we need to write exactly the same thing that we did in our previous video with the list element so this is the object so every time it cycles through the element in this array we'll get an item and we will use this item same So if I press save, hopefully it will work. So as you can see, it works the same as our last video when we use the scroll view and map function with the list. So first of all, what's the difference between flat list and the normal list? So in flat list, first of all, as you can see, uh, it is much less code than this so you need to write fewer lines that's a benefit and the main purpose of using flat list is that it provides a better performance so it doesn't apply in this scenario because we have only 11 elements or very few elements in our list but uh, in real life scenario when we have hundreds of elements and you need to show that you need to show all the elements uh, to uh, your user then in flat list uh, what it do what it does that it only uh, load the elements uh, which is currently visible on the which, which is currently visible on this screen when it first render it does not load all the hundreds of elements if uh, if say if I say only 10 elements is currently visible to the user then it only loads the 10 elements on the screen when it for first render then when user scroll down it ran it re-renders the uh, remaining elements to the user so which is uh, exactly the opposite which scroll view and the list does because if there are let's say hundreds elements then scroll view and list will render all the elements at, at the first when this thing first load so it provide a better performance and the second thing is that we need 
we don't need to explicitly provide the key element it automatically search for the key element in our array so we need to have a key element and it need to be the name of the key so but in case if we have let's say id instead of key and let me just say the key so for that we need to write key extractor in items item dot id is the key so we are expressly telling the flat list that in our array id serves as the key let me just frame it as you can see it works fine so this is the main purpose of using flat list i always use play flat list in, instead of the normal list with the scroll view so if you have fewer items you can use the scroll view and if you have hundreds of items in your list you can use the flat list for better performance so thanks for watching it